Question 1, part A. The period of this function is given by P equals 2 pi divided by a half, which equals 4 pi. The range of the function is equal to pi, the value of the principal axis, plus or minus the amplitude, i.e. 2. So the range is from pi take 2 to pi plus 2. A rule for the derivative function can be found using the chain rule. f dash dx equals 2 multiplied by minus sine of x on 2 multiplied by half plus 0, which simplifies to minus sine of x on 2. Using the class pad, this derivative can be found by the main menu. Select our function and calculate the derivative. For part C, we need to find the equation of the tangent to the graph at x equals pi. This question is only worth one mark, so the most time efficient way to do this is directly from the class pad. If we take our function and place it in a new line and then utilize the tan line calculation, we get the output minus x equals 2 pi. In other words, the equation of the tangent is y equals minus 2x plus 2 pi. The x coordinates of the tangents required can be found by solving minus sine of x on 2 equals 1. Using our class pad, we can take our derivative Set it equal to 1, supply the domain, and solve. So we have our x values of 3 pi and 7 pi. For our equation of a tangent, if we take our command line of tan line that we used previously, and just edit the uh, pi to be 3 pi, we have y equals x minus 2 pi. And if we change the 3 pi to be 7 pi, we get y equals x minus 6 pi, which are our two tangents. Part E, the translation described as a dilation by a factor of a in the y direction, then it has a translation of pi units in the x direction and a translation of b units in the y direction. This means that our expression for f dash could be f dash x equals a multiplied by 2 cos of x minus pi over 2 plus pi plus b. And where we can see our dilation here and our translation in x here and our translation in y here. And we know that equals the derivative expression obtained previously minus sine of x on 2. To work further with this equation we can expand In order to solve for a and b we need to transform the term minus sine x on 2 into a cosine term. 
This can be done if we use the identity sine x equals cosine of pi over 2 minus x. giving us minus cosine pi over 2 minus x over 2. Looking at left and right hand sides we can see that there's a negative issue which can be resolved using the identity cosine of minus x equals minus cosine x. This means that our right hand side is cosine of x on 2 minus pi on 2. At this point we can see that our left and right hand sides both contain the expression cosine x on 2 minus pi on 2 or equivalent and that means we can equate. So we know that 2a equals 1 and pi a plus b equals 0 giving us a equals a half and b equals minus pi a which is minus a half pi. Part f asks us to solve the equation 2 cosine x on 2 plus pi in other words our function equals minus 2 sine x on 2 2 by our derivative plus pi and we'll solve this for x between 0 and 8 pi. Using our class pad We obtain our answers x equals 3 pi on 2, 7 pi on 2, 11 pi on 2, and looking across, 15 pi on 2.